For more advanced video shooters, they demand having the ability to bring in two channels of audio with XLR connections. And that's why the S-series cameras can work with the XLR1 audio adapter. Let's talk about how to use the XLR audio adapter and all the features it offers. First, we connect the XLR audio adapter through the hot shoe. The hot shoe will power the XLR1 and it will pull the signal through the hot shoe. So there's no need to make any wired connections from the device to your camera. Simply connect your microphone into one of the XLR inputs and connect it to the camera and you'll be ready to go. Once connected, it's important you have the ability to monitor your audio. So there's a headphone jack on the side of the camera. Simply connect your headphones into that jack and if you need to control the volume of the headphones, simply turn the wheel here and that'll control your volume up and down. In the camera's menu, you want to be in the movie camera tab. From the movie camera tab, select the microphone page, which is called audio. The top option is called sound record level display. When that's on, you'll have these levels. When it's off, the levels are gone. This is the XLR mic adapter setting for on or off to turn the device on and off. To control the XLR one, we're gonna walk from left to right. The left side of the XLR1 is for input one of the XLR jacks. The right side is for XLR2 of the input jacks. If you're in the top option for input, that means you're using a line signal, effectively if you're using a mixing board or some sort of external audio device. The center point is a microphone that is already powered. You're not gonna be asking the camera to power the microphone. Or we have phantom power, 48 volt out over XLR. This is a boost of gain, plus 20 dB, negative 20 dB, or zero. We have a low pass filter, or a low cut filter, I should say. So off means you're gonna get all the bass response. You have a cut for 16 hertz for very low tones, and we have a cut for 160 hertz. So if you have air conditioners in a room, you can cut some of that noise out. This is our audio level control. You'll need to look at the meters on the bottom of the camera as you're adjusting this control. Input one to one means that if I bring in input one, it's going to populate it to both channel one and channel two. When on input one and two, that means only input one is gonna come in and then input two will be a secondary channel. And finally, we have our automatic level control. This is on or off. Most of the time that'll be off unless you're dealing with a single microphone and you have two people on camera and they talk at different volumes. And then all of these controls are mirrored for input two. And those are the benefits of the XLR1 with an S-series camera.